Hello, so uh, we're going to take a look at um, grading assignments or grading at the assignment level. So I have editing turned on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add an activity here. So I click on add an activity. Whoops. I click on add an activity. And we're just going to do online text. That's the simplest assignment type. Basically, the you know, you give the students the instructions, the students type in text into the actual assignment page itself, and then they can turn in their submissions. So let's click online text. Okay, so I have to give an assignment name. Let's call it online text sample assignment. Instructions. So I would have introduction, I'd have some kind of text, I'd have instructions, and I'd have some kind of text. Okay, so this would be kind of your standard, um, you know, whatever your style guide says, your standard lesson uh, content here. Okay, so uh, basically, you know, you'd give instructions. Um, we, you know, you could put display on description page. Generally, not because you don't want to um, uh, clutter up your main course page. Okay, so we're going to uh, take away the due dates, prevent late submissions, no grade. We leave it at 100. Okay, so now we're going to talk about grading. So you can uh, you can set up grade categories on the. Um, on the left side of the screen in your settings menu. In the settings menu you can uh, set up your grades um, and that's where you would add these categories. Okay, So you could categorize this as homework or test or classwork or whatever categories you want to make up and that's the way you would weight uh, different types of assignments against each other to get your final grades. Now inside the assignment though, the things that you can select are a couple different things. So you can either select simple direct grading or rubric in this case. Um, there are other options based upon the way you set up your grading, but those are the initial types. So simple direct grading and rubric. In this case, we're going to call it simple direct grading. And then we're going to leave it as allow resubmit, yes. Email alerts the teacher, no. Comment in line. Uh, and this is great because it has it gives a lot of help right here. Okay, so this allows you to comment in line inside the the um, actual submission. Okay, and we're going to leave the groups blank for now. Okay, so we're going to go save and display. Okay, so this is exactly what the student would see. Um, so they would have uh, well, not exactly. The student would see they would not see this no attempts have been made. They would see the rest of the text. And you'll notice that I forgot to left justify this text. Uh, this depends on how your Moodle system is set up, if you need to left justify this text or not. So um, basically what will happen is the student would come in. They click Add Submission. Okay, At this point, this uh, submission box would come up, and they would type in some kind of a text to submit. Okay, and they would save changes. So that would be the student answering the prompt. It says your changes have been saved. It gives them this confirmation. Okay, now in the teacher's um, view, they would see this one submitted assignment here. Okay, so this would view one submitted assignment. So with simple direct grading, what will happen is, is that all the people that have turned in an assignment for this, in this particular assignment, will show up on this list. Um, notice that the default um, the default action for this is that you have to go to the status column, click grade. <clears throat> then you can see the actual submission. Uh, this is where if you were had say multiple file upload or single file upload, this is where you would open the files. You'd assign a grade, in this case one out of uh, whatever, because you assigned it one out of a hundred, so it's whatever out of a hundred. Okay, and then you could give the student feedback and then save changes.
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cancel this for now. In general, though, you'd save changes. Uh, okay, so there's a couple options on how to grade. Uh, another great option, if it's something that uh, is easy to grade or just, you know, you're counting it uh, just if the student completed the assignment or not, uh, you can allow quick grading. Uh, say if it was very brief, we can click quick, click quick grading and save our preferences. You can also show all or submission shown per page. You can show, you know, 100 or whatever. So uh, in this case, so now that we've allowed quick grading, what happens is we get these additional columns. So we get a grade column where we can just assign a grade directly inside of this um, inside of this table containing all our student work. We also get um, the submission uh, right here, and basically we can just click on it, and we get a pop-up of the student text that was submitted. Okay, so let's go back. Um, so that's the first type of grading. Okay, so that's simple direct grading. Um, let's go back to our course page and let's edit this assignment uh, and let's say that instead of simple direct grading let's say that we wanted to make this a rubric so let's say that we change this to rubric okay and we scroll down and click save and display okay at this at this point what happens is once we say that we want to use a rubric uh, what the system does is what uh, it senses that we don't have any rubrics, okay? So basically, we go in and we say, do we want to create a new grading form from template or from scratch, okay? So we're going to have to create one from scratch since we don't have any currently. We have to create a name for this rubric, so we're going to call this student response, student response rubric. Okay, and we can, um, we can, Add a description. Rick designed to evaluate high level student responses. So let's say that you're getting students to uh, come up, you know, formulate an evaluation of something. Uh, in class, you know, this might be the rubric that you use. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here. So this is where uh, this is, you know, this is where we create a rubric. It's a great interface. We click to edit criterion. Let's say that this criteria we're going to say. Um, so we're going to say length, response length. Okay, and let's say that zero points is one sentence or less. Let's say that. One point is two to three sentences. And let's say that two points is four or more sentences. Okay, so we go ahead and we add, you know, we can add in uh, additional levels. We can also add criteria. Okay, so basically this is how we build our rubric. So we have, you know, point columns, we have our uh, criteria, and we have uh, our levels to those criteria. Okay, so now we have our options, display points at each level during evaluation. So we, um, we're going to leave all these as, um, as ready to go. We're going to delete this criteria first. Okay, save rubric and make it ready. Now, of course, you would put in more, cri more criteria if you're actually using the rubric, right? Okay, so we have one. We get back to our assignment. We, we can now go view our one submitted assignment. Okay, notice now quick grading is not available, right? So quick grading, because now it's a rubric, is not available in optional settings. So we have to go ahead and click grade. Okay, so now we have our rubric, and all we do is we would go ahead and click one of these, right? So we have, we would select for each criteria, we would select our um, our number of points. Okay, so in this case, let's say the student, well, actually they gave exactly one sentence, so they'd get zero points. Okay, and we have our comments that we can fill out there, as well as our feedback, and now we can go ahead and save changes. Okay, so our grade was 0 out of 100. Let's say we want to go back and we want to update the status. Okay, so let's say that we want to give them 
two points instead of zero points and save changes okay now it's 100 out of 100 so obviously the grade from the rubric would reflect reflect a number of points based upon the percentage of the rubric um, okay so that gives us enough that gives us a brief overview of the types of grading that's available by default on a per assignment basis good luck